Dickinson Conservation District held its annual meeting today, and TV6's Iron Mountain Kings Review reporter Blake Ryerson shares how the district hopes to address the effects of climate change in Upper Michigan. The Dickinson Conservation District Executive Director Amber Butterfield says the district's plan to increase its grant funding this year. She says partnering with local organizations can help. We would be able to take these like-minded people so that way when we do apply for grants, we do have a ton of support from our community. Um, and then also when we do work on these grants, we can pull in these other entities. The district brought in almost $96,000 of grant money in 2024, but hopes to increase the amount to address climate change impacts. Natural Resources Conservation Service District Conservationist Thomas Barrent reported some tree plantings failed due to the mild winter. He says U.S. forestry studies suggest climate ranges in Michigan are shifting. The ranges these trees grow in is changing. They're moving farther north. Some are doing better. Some are doing much worse. It, it's really hard to tell right now because the storm events are bigger. The changes could also affect how invasive species are controlled in the district. Wild Rivers Invasive Species Coalition coordinator Lindsay Peterson says some invasive species got an early start thanks to an early rain season. But she says the risk team responded accordingly. So luckily we've had a really strong crew this year and we really strive as an organization to be super adaptable so that we can uh, sort of tailor our plan as we go and really respond to the plants. Risk is on track to manage almost 400 acres of land this year. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.